Alrighty, hello cozy friends, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome in. I am a vector of change, and tonight we are diving back into Chrono Cross, one of my favorite JRPGs uh, from the PlayStation era. It has been quite a ride so far. I think we're maybe a third of the way through the story so far in this playthrough. We are slowly working our way through the world, um, but it's been a really cozy ride so far. I'm really enjoying playing this remaster of the game. It's a little bit of a different vibe to it, but the music is on point. The gameplay is about the same. And there's a couple quality of life improvements that the remaster gives you, like being able to speed through things early on in the game. It's kind of nice, um, especially with battles and stuff, if you're kind of over the animations and you're trying to grind. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. I hope everybody is having a fantastic week. You know, we're getting closer towards the end of the year. It's amazing how 2022 is soon going to be 2023. I'm here for it, though. I am. I am. But I hope y'all are having a great time. So I think we're going to quickly switch over here to this thing. Sorry, I had a text message from my mama. All right. Cool. All right. I... Yes. Over to our game screen we go. And let's see if it actually... Okay. It shows... I don't know why there's a lag there. But there often is a little bit of a lag. I don't know. I don't know. So I think... We need to recruit some new characters. We've got to rebuild our party. Because this is it. <laughs> yep, that's all we got. We don't have any new friends now. Because we just kind of popped through an interdimensional rift into this world. And we're going to see if we can swap back to the other world. No. What's wrong, legs? Don't tell me the dimensional gate won't open. <laughs> You'll be in hot water now. Of course it won't open. The missing piece is this world has been found. There is nothing we can do. You are now just an unwanted piece. Very interesting. What you gotta do, legs? I bet we get to explain your situation to your mother. Maybe you'll define something out. All right, we're gonna go talk to our mom. Look, but we're furries now. Look at us. We're so cute. We're little demi humans. Love it. I'm a big cat. Harley's adorable though. She's the little jester character. She's super cute. Sprig, kind of annoying. I don't know if I care for Sprig. This rig is kind of a filler right now. <laughs> Look at Harley's run. I love her. She's so cute. She's got the skinniest little legs, though. I'm concerned about her. But she's so cute. They're little pants. <laughs> We're going to play as Harley. She's just so cute. Love her. This is kind of weird. I was playing Spirit Fair yesterday, and so the continue button is a different button in this game, and I keep trying to hit it, and it doesn't do anything. <laughs> They're so racist. No, do not. Are you a human cat? Are you a cat human? Do you like catnip? <laughs> Whatever. You don't like it just because you look like a cat doesn't mean you are one. Oh, you're different than us. How boring. <laughs> Alright, let's 
let's go see our mommy. Let's see what she has to say. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Mm, who might you be? May I help you? What? What'd you just say? Your search? Please explain to me exactly what is going on here. I see. So that man told you to go to the Sea of Eden. I really don't know about dimensional distortions, about the other world, but if, like you say, something big is really on the verge of happening, it may have all started 14 years ago on the night of the storm. That night, your father Wazuki and his friend Miguel set out to sea Despite a storm, it was an emergency. They were swallowed by the waves and lost consciousness. When they came to, they found themselves in the Dead Sea, a place no living creature dares enter. I don't know what he saw or what happened, but that incident changed your father. And your father's friend Miguel, he was Lena's father. He never returned. Back then, that place wasn't called the Dead Sea. Yes, I believed they called it the Sea of Eden about 14 years ago. Are you the ones everybody's talking about? No, this can't be. Are you Lynx? You're still alive. Step outside, Lynx. I, too, was once a valiant member of the Acacia Dragoons. I must put a stop to you. La la la, Geezer, I wouldn't show off like that. That is if you want to live. Do not underestimate the power of Monsieur Lynx. One blow and it's off to the other world with you. Silence. Step outside. This is not outside, this is inside. Alright, we're outside suddenly. <laughs> On guard. Smacking me with your stick. So rude. Alright, what do you got for abilities? Moonshine? Use lunar energy to protect your party. Decreases magical power. Puts them in a cage of ice. Moonbeams. Let's try moonbeams. Ooh, pretty. 93 damage. Very nice. My weapon hits pretty hard, which is nice. What do we got? Send your enemy on a trip to heck. Ice blast. Glide hook. Ooh, glide hook. Good. Under damage. Decent. And then we got spray. Oh, that's why Sprig doesn't have any elements. Sprig can turn into other enemies. I forgot that Sprig was like a blue mage. Sprig's actually pretty cool then. Look at that! Oh, and it dances. Yes, love it. Is this a protect? 
How cute, we're all glowy and sparkly. Love it. Photon beam. It should be protected right now. He's going right after Harley. Looks like I've cut it in half. What about a gravity blow? Ready? Take that. He did too. Hmm. <laughs> Let me cut this guy! <laughs> So fun. How about free fun? All right, he's almost done. That's going to hurt a bit. Heal yourself, Carl. Don't want you missing out on XP. I stand defeated. That's right. Ooh, we got a new star. Maybe we got a new thingy. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Do not sense any malice in your attacks. Do you really mean to tell me that you're not Lynx? And it is it true that the general is still active in the other world? There. The general's been missing for the past three years now. Understood. I shall accompany you. We may still have a chance to save the general and riddle in the other world. Zut! This geezer is the only going to get in the way. Ready to join the party. We got a new character. We got a new character. Alright, Sprague. Love ya, but I want Radius. <laughs> First, we must head to Termina. Gather news about General Viper's disappearance from this world. Don't worry, we'll return to find a clue to return to the other world. Okay. Uh, we're burning. We need ointment. <laughs> Let's take our elements from our friend Sprig. That's not the button. Um. Equip all. Yes. Um, we're gonna say... What is this? Oh, it's the summon. Fill blanks. Links only. Fill blanks. Harley only. What does it give her? Meteor shower? Hmm. Let's give you... I guess we'll leave that there for now. Alright, Radius. He's a green innate. So he's got long shot, hit foe from afar with Chi Aura. Chi. Uh, swing your sword faster than I can see. So he's got green. So let's go innate color healing first. So let's give him a couple heals. I recover all. Who's got my revives on? Harley. We're gonna take that off. 
gonna give you um let's give you tablet or no what's the one that's higher grace fleetment capsule look at her capsules And tablets. Then radius. Can I give you your. Ooh, he's got to recover all. Does Lynx have recover all? He does not. He has cure plus. Let's give you that. Do you have a cure plus? You do not. We're going to switch out single, single. Um, give you the cure plus. Okay. And we want to definitely give you a revive. Another cure. Capsules. And we'll give you some tablets as well. Alright, in a attack. Guess we can give you three heals, that's fine. Arrow blaster. Arrow saucer. Push basher. Push whacker. Give you those. Do, do, do. How many heals do you got? You got three heals. That should be plenty of heals. Um, attack first. Photon beam. Electric jolt. Just looking for the higher level magic. We can the level four. Level four. Okay. And then we'll just say... Good. We'll just have you fill your blanks. What do we want to put here? Maybe one of these. Bush bash, right? Yeah. Allocate fill blanks for everybody. We'll just let the game fill in the rest. There's no point in resting. Cool. So now we've got Radius as a friend. Just want to talk to everybody with my new party. See if there's any interactions. Did the gates of time open up? Rude. Kitty. I'm not gonna eat your cat. Girl, that's rude. <laughs> How racist. 
awful. Just awful. Oh, that's so nice. He thinks he's protected by... Don't wreck our boats. How does she know who I am? That seems sus. So he's racist. Here's Lena. Uh, who are you? What? Surge? No, that's a lie. What the heck's going on? Sorry, I don't believe you. Wow, judgy. This version of Lena is not the good version. I like the one from our, the other world that's in our party. She seems so much more chill. This Lena's mean. Wouldn't even believe me. There is nothing in particular. I ask that you please leave. It may not seem so, but we're busy. <laughs> Girl, that's so rude. Hey, Emmy. Coming in getting first, brats. Hello. Okay, enjoy your look, Emmy. You're a little lurky turkey. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess there's some rumors about me and the general viper disappearing. Okay. They have Nikki and Mickey. Can I get Orla to join us? No. That would be too easy. Got a Hecarin in here. I guess I can check over here. So it's kind of funny, so Radius is literally just abandoning the village to be with me. We'll take everything while you're away, just take it easy. There's Poshal. Can I get you back? I'm busy. Okay. I wonder which Poshal we have in our party. If it's this world or the other world. I assume it's this world because we brought Poshal into the um, one area with us. The Komodo dragon place. What is that called? I'm gonna have to go look. From this world to get those Komodo scales. So it's definitely the home world potion that we have in our party. It's interesting. What is this called? Lizard. Lizard Rock. Yeah. Assume there's nothing here, but. Just want to double check. Serge and Lena forever. Okay. So 
so nothing there. It does stink though, because we can't steal anymore, because Kid is the only character we have that has a stealing ability until we get some more elements, I guess. I would assume there's got to be some elements where you can steal stuff. Oh, they die so quickly. It's awesome. Oh, I gotta go get equipment. Uh, equipment for Sprick. Yes. So he's got a silver staff. Um, what kind of staff that armor do you have? You have Mithril Mail. Alright, we're going to put Iron Mail on you. So we can put that on you. Very nice. Um, a lot of accessories. There's attack power, HP, cold. I have a Mithra helmet for you? Surprised. Don't have an anti green either. Just give you the profiteer purse and give you some more HP. Watch out, little guy. Coming through. Right, so we finally can get through. Wonder if there's anything up here. Those are enemies. Looks like there's a treasure chest. Ooh, the infrared vision. That one's fun. Let's use that one for a little while, see how we feel about it. I'm sad we don't have Skelly anymore either. This is just a bird, right? No treasure under here. Oh, there is treasure. I can kite this thing. Is it in this room? Over here. Yay! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, almost ran into it. That bird is mad. So the looks like the mansion in this world is destroyed.
No one can come in. Oh, can't even walk through. Okay. <laughs> Guess we can go to Terminal? Alright, before we go anywhere, we're going to take a quick commercial break. So, we'll take 90 seconds or so. We'll be back very soon, friends. Enjoy your break. back so i guess we're just gonna go right into termina in the home world see what's different looks like it's military occupied humans are very selfish no to think that they used to bow their heads down to curry favor monsieur lynx is searching for someone or something to lay their blame on. Wow, this town is less cozy. I'm on patrol duty, don't bother me. It's not cozy at all right now. It's being invaded. Nobody here. Okay. That thing looked like corn. <laughs> Welcome. We're low on stock, but please go around. Ooh, a heal all that's ooh, there's a bunch of new ones. Sweet. Hey Dark Meow. How are you, friend? Hope you're doing good. Got four of those, four of those. Oh my god, 12. <laughs> Fire pillar, magma burst? Who are they? Oh, oh, Kid probably has them. Okay. Got lots of these. Ooh, Hero Blaster. Got a couple of those. I'm not using it, but even yellow. Reallocate. Heal in first, so heal all. Heal all. Cure plus. Replace that. Heal in first. Let's give you heal all. A cure plus you have and links. Cure plus? You have recover all and heal all. Okay. And then I think there was what did I get for you? Aeroplaster. Blaster and Arrow Blaster. Okay. 
How's it going, Dark Meow? Are you having a good week? We're almost through it. Are you looking for my dad? Sorry, but he's out in the forest gathering mushrooms. I even told him we're doing inventory tomorrow. I wonder when we'll be back. Mushroom hobby of his drives me crazy. What is going to turn into a mushroom? <laughs> he is going to turn into a mushroom. We're going to help him. And he's going to be our buddy. Oh, such a pity. The statue must revive where I polished every day has been changed to this. The once magnificent manor is also long gone. Fully must forever. None of this would have happened. Uh, if it isn't Sir Lynx, it's a great relief. You're safe. So he knows who Lynx is. So Lynx exists in both worlds somehow? Oh, the dad's alive in this one. I think he was in a boat in the other world. Maybe? Or is this the mom? Is there Lynch still alive? There's nothing here in this old shack. Would you like some tea? Get out, you big stray cat. I don't like you. Oh, there. Stop that. Father Solon is always saying that. If this guy ever came back, he wouldn't be in this mess. <laughs> Just get stuck. There's a stray cat that steals our fish. Apologize, girl. We're sorry. Sure you are. Yeah, I think she was the kid was sick in this bed in the other world. It's like there's nothing in here. It's really interesting that they kinda know who Lynx is. Look at this cannon. Forest, did it? I don't know what this is. It is a revolt against us. Rude. Poor does not seem cozy. Zero cozies in poor. <laughs> oh, there's the granny. They took his grandson. Skelly? My poor Skelly, I pray that you are safe. Ooh, wonder what happened to this world skelly. Can I talk to this guy up here? Compared to the mainland, there's nothing special, but the view cannot be matched. Hey, I'm moving here permanently for country life. Okay. I guess we can go into the princess guy. Can it be you, Lynx? Or you are safe, sir. Where have you been all this time? We've set up a temporary military dock beyond this point. Nobody may pass without permission from the commander Norris, not even you. He is at the ruins of Epper Manor. Please report your current status to him immediately. Maybe Lynx is still popping around in this world as a doing stuff. Sure. Happened three years ago, General Viper has been disappeared from the manor. We searched for them, but no trace. Guess that they were spirited away. What could have happened? I think that the same thing could happen again. Hmm. Sure is cocky. He's young, but he doesn't hesitate to voice his opinion. Never loosens up. He doesn't seem interested in any kind of fun. He's the best in the Terminal Division. Gosh, he's so elite. That dragon's glory really is something. You can taste it with your whole body. <laughs> the tried lizard stuff. You can't forget those really like squid cut pasta. The mainland isn't peaceful, huh? We don't serve your kind here. So they blame Lynx for betraying the um, Vipers, I guess. Okay. 
All right, let's go get our blacksmith friend. These kids, they seem happy. Oh, there's a military dude right there with a gun. That's cozy. So let's pause. We're gonna hard to join the black one to poor, but I wonder if I'll ever tell me I'll be your end. Aww. So he wants to join the military. So he's got a fan. Some fan of Norris. Tell me if anything happens. You bet it. I won't. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh, we search in this house. Oops. I mean to leave. This is where Dario and his brother live. I don't think I've seen him, so we're currently looking for this Dario, but all the dragoons were gone. This troublemaker says come back. Find information, let us know. Zappa. Oh, that's right, he's Karsha's dad. Switch over to being a trader. Hey, what you got for sale? I'll trade your goods and wanted elements. I can literally trade these in. That's kind of cool. So there's no hero guy here. Oh wow. Looks like they closed shop. I should do it. Do you see our forge has always had a fire since the olden times? It is sad to see it without its place. My apologies for in the shop for my own selfish desires. I've had to listen to you for the longest time. Did not want to hear you say it's foolish now. Never mind you, dear. Where are you going? Aye. Now that the dinner have the shop no more, like I say, it's time to finish what we started long ago. You stay here and wait for Karsha's return. It's already been three years. These years haven't been good to us. Our best patrons, dragoons, despair. Poor military gets on our arses. Well, since we've had such bad luck, I'm sure thing, sure things will be good for Mirona. Son's probably fond as well. Aye. No, he's dead. <laughs> Radius, been a while for us the village. We need not worry about the village. There are bigger things to concern us. Oh, I'm guessing you're not from around here. Do you can a thing called Rambo? It's a superb material that can be forged into anything. I'm thinking of searching for some. You wouldn't mind if I joined you. Aye, let him join. Aye, great. Then I'll give you a wee, me a wee token. Use it any time and I'll have ye find ye and have me do job anywhere you happen to be. Ah, give my word. Got the Smith Spirit, now we can craft all on our own. We got Zappa. Treat. Call me anytime you like. Then I think we can get Van. Van should be over here. In his little house. Oh, does this kid say anything? Nowhere near as cozy. It's a little baby house. 
you. Are you Van's friends? He's in the back room. Not really, but sure. At least knock before you enter. You guys, Taurus, if you want, I'll be one to guide you around. Of course, there's a small fee. I think it's a bargain. Hire him. You got it. long enough to pay our debts and I'm not going to wait any longer. Either you pay up now or I'll have to move you out of this house. What will happen to my son and me? None of my concern. I just want to make this place into my personal storage for my precious treasures. Wait, I'll pay the debt. Hell, that's amusing. How's our little Mr. Van today? How much have you saved from your allowance? Yeah, very funny. This is what I got. This won't even pay off the interest. Better luck next time. Just wait a little bit more. I'll be able to get you the money you need. Well, I found a new little van. Don't waste your energy on something stupid. I'm going with these guys to search for that frozen flame. We didn't even mention frozen flame. What? <laughs> uh, no, we're serious. Don't burn yourself. We'll probably never find it. How arrogant of her to just push us around because we're poor. If only we had money. If we did, this would have never happened. Hey, man, none of that. Besides, even though we don't have money. I don't want to hear that from you, Dad. Where are we going to live for tomorrow? We're out of money because we're not selling any of the paintings we have in this room. Sorry, man, these pictures are just not good enough to sell yet. I only want to sell pieces I'm satisfied with to those who understand my work. Fine. Then I'm going to have to be the one to find us a place to live. Do you enjoy watching family disputes? There's nothing, positively nothing here for you. No point in hanging around. Thanks. He's so sassy. Hmm. I think it's a pretty good picture, so why won't it sell? Dad's too active about selling his work. It's just cocky things. Like, he'll only sell to those who understand it. Oh, well. Guess I'll have to come with the money myself. Okay. Let's see. My piggy bank is... Yep, it's here. All right. Money's in here, too. Now, Otter's part is finding a place to live. Next, we have... Dad's homemade paint color, El Nido Blue. Painting the sea in this color gives it the smell of salt water, supposedly. If I were Dad, I would have sold this paint by itself and made a fortune off of it. The seashell. Mom. The only remaining reminder between me and Mom is a shell. Disc gets cracked. Can't even hear the sound of the sea, but I remember it all. I'm found this shell and held it gently to my ear. I remember that sound, the sound of the sea. I also got mad because I couldn't take home the sandcastle I made that day. And now we have to move out of the house Mom and I lived in. Don't worry, Mom. I'll take good care of Dad for you. So sad. Ben always had a hard time dealing with our troubles ever since he was a child. I made him do without, so many things that he's grown a bit sarcastic. He's very kind at heart like his mother. One day I hope I can just let him do as he pleases like other children. You guys are still here. Do you need something? Or are you here to buy my dad's paintings? Actually, you were just saying... We're really looking for the frozen frame. Huh? We're being sarcastic. You got me pretty ticked. Oh, I get it. You trying to cheer me up or something? Don't underestimate me because I'm a kid. 
I know that no such thing exists in this world. Or are you still some kind of simpletons? Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Stop. Look at me like that. You remind me of my mom. Your eyes tell me that you're telling the truth. Even I can see that, but I can't do it. I just can't leave my dad here and go off on some fool's errand, although it is tempting. It'll be all right, Ben. You don't have to find any frozen flame or anything. I just want you to go out into the world and put in your horizons. Of all the people in the world, only a handful live in happiness. No, maybe even those who look happy aren't really happy at all. I want you to go find out for yourself what real happiness means. So go. Dad? Ben? Just be careful to lock up at night. Be bad if any of the paintings were stolen. I will. Be careful out there. Oh yes, wait a moment. This is a boomerang. Take this with you. This is a boomerang. Dad, I'm not going out there to play. What am I going to do with this? This isn't a toy. During your journey, there will be danger. This should help you when that time comes. And a boomerang comes back to its on its throne. I want it to be a reminder to you. So it's a good luck charm, huh? <laughs> Don't care for such things, but oh well. I'll take it with me just in case. Alright. We gotta go before she comes back again. And join the party. Got a new character. And it is here. He's green too. Moist. What's his abilities? I'm curious to see. So Zappa's got hammer blow? And hammer throw. Then as jump throw and wet paint. Is that weak? Kind of sus though, trusting these random strangers with your child. Step one, save money. Step two, save money. Skip three and four. Step five, save more money. It's the lucky cat. Cute. Very cute. I think in terms of term, I think that's all the characters we're gonna get here. It's definitely not very cozy, is it? So they will literally open fire on anybody. Rude. Anybody living in here? Fortune teller. So this gets. Shouldn't come out of web. Spirits of your living springs are too radiant for the spirits. Men spirit shared from God's side name is Gats. Probably another lost soul still attached. Very common out here. Should run along home. Hi. I don't know what that's a hint about. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Anything down here? I know there's a soldier patrolling. Beneath the sacred sword. 
uh, 13th Acacia Dragoon, Grandmaster Garai, and 14th Acacia Dragoon, Grandmaster Daria. Garai, forgive me. So their radius is buddies. Okay. Alright, let's go get to the mushroom forest. So we can try to recruit Fun Guy. Well, I don't know if we're going to get him in this world or if we get him in the other world. We shall see. But I do now have the Smith Spirit. So we can forge on the go, which is super cozy. Love that. Could make another one of those. Expensive though. I'll hold on to that. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Oops. Are you fighting? are a little tough. Wow. A lot of HP. Alright, before we dive in far, I'm going to take another quick break, friends. So please uh, go stretch your legs, refill your beverage. We'll be back in just a moment while I run some ads. BRB. All right, we are back. Everybody had a nice little breaky break. These cats are kind of creepy looking, aren't they? What happened to that? Couscous. A Lorantis has appeared in chat, friends. Okay, I guess they're not as strong as I thought. A capsule. Is there a treasure chest up here? Oh, hello, Kitty. Goose, goose. Harley always goes first. I wonder why. Bird. Moonbeams. Kind of like lemurs, like little monkeys. 
I love the moonbeams, they're so pretty. They're really powerful. Lots of eagle eyes. I guess those are good if we want to trade them in later. Ooh, treasure chest. Some mithril. Very nice. We love some cozy mithril. Those bubbles. I'm like, is this a thing? Is there a treasure chest under there? Oh, hello, Mr. Bulb. Got all the heels. Bam! A bearded beagle! Hello, hello, what's good? Welcome in, friend. I'm doing good! We are vibing with some Chrono Cross tonight. It's been a, been a good day. Been a good day. My appointments for the week are all done, so smooth sailing from here until Monday. <laughs> How are you doing? What's going on with your, your week so far? Alright, so there's nothing there, nothing there. Is that sus little kitty character? Is there a treasure in here? Nope, there's a old dude. Don't even dare. You guys want to join for some hot stew? It'll cost you though. Bring me a mushroom. Give you that treasure if you're able to find one that will impress me. Okay. That must be Leah's dad. Or not Leah, um, Lisa's dad. The element shop owner. So the mushroom must be in the cave then. I see a treasure chest there. Hey! Hey! Why you gotta chase me? That's rude. Cut it out. Stop it. <laughs> oh, she didn't get all her things. Alright, we'll use links then. I have a gravity pill plus five. <laughs> Let's see what this does. I'm curious to see. Is it a waste to have it there? 91! Not too bad, not too bad. I'm cool with that. Uh, I'm a right had visitation for my wife's grandmother today. The funeral's tomorrow. A uh, bittersweet day. That was beautiful remembrance of her legacy. Lovely lady will be missed. Other than that, I was able to support some local shops in my city called Rocket Toys and Gifts and Unicorn Feed and Supply. I'm so sorry to hear about that loss, but you know, Bearded Beagle, that, that connection with each other and your family is really important for that healing process. I've worked with a lot of people going through loss, um, and that seems to always be the glue that, that helps us work through it. Deborah gets you know, we never get over it, but I think being there for each other and building that sense of community and 
having those those times to have that remembrance is so wonderful. I'm glad you guys are able to do that. Um, tell me about this unicorn feed and supply. What is that? <laughs> that sounds fun. Whoop! There goes my captions. Let me fix that. One sec. There we go. There we go. Too many screens. Too many screens. Couscous. Do our moonbeams. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Bam. Bam. Uh, it's a little trinket store that had a lot of Michigan made stuff with local artists selling things. Stickers. Oh, missed my thing. Uh, candy, sewing gifts, pride flags, etc. A very unique little store. I love that. I love little local shops like that. They're so cute. We stand our local businesses. <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of those these days around here. We have a huge museum that has all sorts of cute, cozy stuff in it. Um, but there, there's nothing quite like those little cozy shops. One of my favorite little coffee shops uh, is in a bigger city near me. Um, and so you will see like all of the pride flags everywhere and it's very in your face about who is welcome there. I love that. <laughs> It's always it's not always easy to find a safe space to be in. It's nice to see those little things everywhere. Hey Mr. Gloop. Oh, there goes my lights. Hold on. Don't know why that decided it was gonna take a nap. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Come on, lights. Oh, not that one. It's under this guy. Alright, that's not gonna work. Alright, manual reset. One sec. random. Lights just be like, no, nope, we're done. We, we, don't, we don't want to chill. No lights for you. <laughs> no lights for stream. Picked up some glow-in-the-dark stars, squishy glow-in-the-dark light-up lamps for my daughters, as well as some flower-shaped pens and a scratch art book, and a sticker that says, oh, which is a Midwestern slang term if you're uninitiated. I have heard of the Ope. I am not Midwestern, but I have heard of the Ope thanks to the joys of TikTok. Uh, sharing the cultural little bitties of the world to me. <laughs> I am an upstate New Yorker, so not at all uh, that New York City vibe, <laughs> but uh, Northeast for sure. That's so cute! And right before, you know, the holidays, during the holidays, I guess, depending on what you celebrate, it's fantastic. Your grandmother lives in upstate New York? Ooh, how cozy. Is she actually upstate though? Or what we call upstate when we're from the city? <laughs> Plattsburgh, I believe. Is that kind of close to the border with Vermont up north on the top side? Yeah, I know where Plattsburgh is. I'm more on the 
southwestern New York region. Here, how about Aerobus? Kaboom. These goopies are not very fun. Yeah, I've heard good things about um, Burlington, Vermont. I think it's probably just over the, the Hudson there. Where the chocolates and things are really cozy out there. I don't know much about Plattsburgh in terms of what their uh, claim to fame is. I think I got a new element, right? What was it? Is that a blue one? Numble decreases physical evasion. Okay, not going to use that. So we cleared this. Oh. Pa said he saw a great item in right inside this cave. Then a rock fell down and now Pa's trapped. Papa. Um. Hmm. Maybe I was not supposed to put the thing there? I thought I was supposed to move that rock. Um, let me consult a guide one second here. We got Zappa. We haven't got Norris yet. Oop. We got ads moving my guide around. Through green mushroom, if you're in Terminix, Tango, Shadow Forest, take the mushroom you're simultain below the waterfall. Where you found skellies, and your scup in another, it'll be a person cooking stew. Oh, where's that? If you rolled the boulder, speak to the kid and check the right side of the area just under where the water flow stops. A bug will pop up, followed by a man. Okay. So we're on the right track. We're on the right track. I guess we need to move further up the map then. Oh, that bug is a little sus. Okay. So we're moving up the river. Moving up the river. Here we are. This area is under poor control, no admittance. Whoop! Oh well. <laughs> just under where the water flow stops. Check the right side of the area, just under where the water flow stops. Alright, so we'll have to check again. That clearly was not the solution. Alright, we're gonna use our moonbeams! I love moonbeams, that's so cute. Harley is so fucking cute. Did zero damage. Oof. Taste the honey sauce. Hi, Emmy. 
<laughs> I take it you're not lurking now. <laughs> I would assume. Oh no. 3%. Uh, Enjoy the goodness of that biscuit. I am really not in the right zone. <laughs> Emmy, you're 28%. All right. That, that, that's decent. Uh, Bearded Beagle, only 5%. Oh no. All right, you're going after sound alerts. Very nice, Emmy. All right, Harley. Let's do Harley, and then we'll probably do more Mean Beans. Oops. All right, Emmy, getting your daily comms. Very nice. You're gonna need them because some of those sound alerts, I think, I'm gonna change. To requiring the use of commendations that you have to buy with your com or um orchestrian rules that you're gonna have to buy with your comms. <laughs> What's this do? Quick draw. String sword faster than the eye can see. Let's see what that looks like. It is super fast. It does 88 damage. Good job, Emmy. Farming those comms. So it's at the right side of the area, just where the water flowing is, so here. Oh, that did it. There's our guy. He made it. Phew. All right, we got a suspicious mushroom. That we're gonna go feed to this guy and see what happens. All right, friend, I've got your mushroom. Nice cozy mushroom for you. Here you go. Oop. This is a rare mushroom found only in Guardia. What do you say we make you do? Your mushroom for my treasure? Sure. This better be good. Oh, the rich fragrance. And he eats it. <laughs> Wait, melts in your mouth. How the firm texture brings out the flavor. D. D. <laughs> Delicious. Man, that was good. You're a mushroom man. <laughs> Look at the art. The character art is so funny. <laughs> What? Do I have something on my face? <laughs> what is this character, guys? I don't understand. <laughs> he looks in the water. <laughs> oh, he's got spores coming out. <laughs> A mushroom monster. How could you do this? It's all your fault. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Why don't you just join us? The frozen flame should be able to change you back to normal. <laughs> Fine. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll stalk you through the depths of hell. <laughs> we got fun, guy. All right. <laughs> so sus. <laughs> He's a yellow and eight. 
wonder what his uh, abilities are. <laughs> We've got Lumberjack. Make like a woodcutter and chop bow to pieces. And then Spore Cloud. Spout, shoot a cloud of spores from your mushroom caps. <laughs> Too funny. We got a forest charm. Very nice. Uh, I think I want to put that forest charm right here. Helps him with all his green abilities. Heck yeah. All right, another new character. So we've gotten so far today, uh, Radius joined us. We got um, Zappa. And we just got Fun Guy. And now I think we can go get Norris. He did such a great job repainting a lot of these backdrops. They're so pretty. And local schools. Quick draw. Slap. Bye, little bush baby. Alright, now let's go get for our friend Norris. I don't remember if he's a very cozy guy or not. <laughs> Sir Norris has arrived. Please come in. He's in the basement. Okay. They blew it up. I believe it has been four years since I retired from the dragoons. Time sure does fly. I was shocked to hear of Dario's death three years ago. Now the general and the others are missing. The manor is in shambles. I took the liberty of conducting my own investigation, but I have discovered nothing. All I know is that a man named Lynx approached the general and has involved him in some kind of incident. The only difference with the other world you talk about is that something happened to the general three years ago here. Oh, I just hope this Norris fellow knows something. I know nothing. I was not involved with the plan. I do not find it amusing. We sent some men to the only to try and investigate a mysterious beam of light. I hear there's a monster atop Sky Dragon Island. What is up with this El Nido place? It is a strange world. Sir Norris is in the basement. Please enter through this well. Okay. This is the basement. Oh, up here. Need to get to the basement of Viper Manor. Oh. We'll have to try that in the other world. Cool. 
So we are inside the basement now. That's cute. All right, guys, we are at that half hour mark, so we're going to take another quick cozy break. Just a self-care reminder. If you haven't taken your medication or your vitamins today, so it's just a friendly reminder. Go do that. I'm going to be back very shortly for some more cozy Chrono Cross vibes. So do do some self-care and uh, we'll be back very soon. All right, we are back. Hopefully your ads were entertaining. <laughs> Got a Mithra helmet. Okay. Give you Mithra helmet. All right. So that's one of the barrels. Looks like we got a little puzzle. Guess we can go up that way. You'd think these guys would have cleared a pathway, but you know. <laughs> Gotta do it ourselves. Oh, he's standing. That's one of the barrels, I bet. Maybe they don't want us to do that. Open that area yet. Must be. Okay. They don't want us going up whatever that stairway is. Our Norris is in here. Okay. Ooh, getting second. That's that third spot still available, guys. <laughs> sir Lynx, it's been a while, sir. As you can see, the manor is a shambles. Still no sign of the general or the others. We are still investing in the area, but it appears that the frozen flame is not here. <laughs> sir, are you really Sir Lynx? I love that alert. You seem different than I remember. You are correct. This man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? I'm Radius, a dragoon. Although I have been retired for four years. So you are Radius, one of the former four devas. An honor to meet you, sir. I believe you, sir, but it's still hard to believe. He may look like Lynx, but his spirit is that of another. That is quite strange, for my say so. It's up to you what you want to believe. So, what business did you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the general? You will be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Very well. I will tell you what I know. It was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the frozen flame in El Nido. Being from the main continent, we had doubted its very existence, so I was sent to the El Nido archipelago as a spy. I had narrowed down the location to Viper Manor, but it appeared as though General Viper and his men were in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to Poor, but it was then that I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed. I heard only recently there is good evidence the General and his men headed to the Dead Sea. 
The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east, surrounded by coral. They used to call it the Sea of Eden, but even then not many dared enter. We investigated the area, but to no avail we could find no entrance. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wish to change the distorted world using the frozen flame. Oh la la, such grand dreams, Monsieur Lynx. Hold your tongue. Zoot. So, the Dead Sea. That ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just be the clue we are looking for. If we uncover Lynx's plans, it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There's no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about one either. Yes, I doubt you'll be able to get in. I'm sure the demi-humans of Marbule know something about this, but they detest humans, especially those from the continent. Perhaps they would give us a hint if you were to go with you. Then may I join you, sir? I want to know. I want to know if the frozen flame really exists and about everything that has happened here. What about you? Mm, what? But of course, I will follow this Monsieur Lynx. The other one is no longer Monsieur Lynx. There is a military boat docked in Termina. Let us use that. All right, Norris enlisted in the party. Another friend. There's so many characters in this game. It's ridiculous. Another yellow innate. Interesting. We just magically ported here. Okay. I feel like there was another song that played here besides this Fossil Valley song. It's interesting. So that must be my boat. Well, let's see what Norris's abilities say. Spiral ray, shoot a twisting ray of aura from your pistol. And sun shower, fire aura in air to cause a rain of bullets. Ooh, he uses like guns. Interesting weapon choice. Board the boat. Yes. I got a boat! I got a boat! I got a boat, 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 boat! So this is the other world's cold boat we could visit. It's another boat. We can probably get Draggy too. Let's go for Draggy. Like a little bowl. But 
he does not get me. Okay. Kind of chases you. Got our dragon's ice breath. that is. Hello. I would like your treasure, please. It's a lot of baddies. Alright, Carly, we're gonna go with you first. It's gonna murder me. <gasps> Ow. This might kill me. Just will have to come back here if they murder me. Let's run away. Alright. You keep your treasure body. Bunch of treasure in here. Oop. Well, we open the door. That's uh that's important. <laughs> Don't think we were supposed to go through this path, but here we are. I think we have to do these puzzles again. Sure seems that. East. Looks like there's treasure down here. Okay. Alley -oop. We're just gonna go in order. All four. Okay. There's one done. That is the only place in this game I've ever seen that red thing. It heals your HP. It's interesting. Okay. Perfect. That should get us our treasure. These are, but we're gonna pick them up. And more damage, right? Ooh, volcano. That's a new element. I'm guessing it's a red one. It is a level six. Deuces an organic, an enormous volcanic eruption. I don't have any red innates in my party. I would have to take Zappa. And I'm good with the party I have right now. It's kind of a cool balance. Okay. 
I really don't remember how we get through this. So this one has chameleons. Just out of those paper guys. Getting lots of these androids. Fight these guys. I like, don't know how difficult they are. Oh, they got me. Ooh, it can vary its innate. That's a cool spell. Peace, buddy. Enjoy your best life. He stopped. Okay. It's so not past him. That was just treasure. So that was literally just treasure. Okay. So now we gotta go this way. Fighting this guy. I wonder if these are the same as the ones we fought in the other one. So yeah, green beans. Fifty-seven, just on a melee hit. Ooh, don't like that. Send some feral cats. <laughs> it's such a funny movie. Here, have some cats. Almost two hundred damage each, and they're still standing. Okay. Use that. <laughs> it's pretty dramatic. Didn't work though. Two ten. Woof. Hi, Harley. Three over five. Give you a cure plus. Oops. Is this guy even weak at all? It's 
like fatigue. I wonder if that means they're close to death. That's 79. Still standing. Can I put on you? Can I not kill these things? Oh, it's finally weak. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of elements, but this is ridiculous. 355, that's an instant KO. Have a revive. You have a revive. Bring radius back up. Carry yourself. Heal everybody. There we go. This is practically a boss battle at this rate. The flight hook. Only 42. Very long shot. Four damage. Not very good. Earthquake. Okay. That too. That murder. Oh, that wasn't bad. My physical hits are down though. Okay. And a gravity blow. Okay, I'm sweating now. So green and yellow just do not mix it same. Oh, one says to carry that did something. Maybe it was the physical attack. Healing. We got some screws. No, thank you. Some braces for these sprains. So, we're gonna try to avoid that again. <laughs> Not cozy. Wish I knew where the puzzle solution was. We just did this. You'd think I would remember it.
All right, so here's the shortcut. So this must be the end of the puzzle. Wonderful. He's over there, so hopefully he stays over there. I don't think there's any bosses in this dungeon. No. All right, there's the green dragon. Very good. He's back. Respawn. Okay, we're gonna just tap this. Go up the next. Oh, this one's so annoying. <laughs> No bat this time, though. God. So we got tail, head, then body. Okay, so it opened up the chest. So we'll go. Whoop! It's not the way up. How do you get up there? Oh. It doesn't do anything then. There's two combinations then. Oh god. So rotate through. And that puts it here so I can open that staircase. Perfect. So let's do this again. Put it back there? Or was it the one with Harley? Now I can't remember in charge. Nope. Definitely was the other way. Okay. I mean, more Danodorites. Thunderstorm. Guessing that's a high level yellow. Yep. Cool. this combination. Black, white, red. That opens that pathway. Okay. Now we'll try red, right, black. White, red, black. the other treasure chest. Wonderful. And then we just need to get the little pack. Let's 
try white, black, red. Let's see if that does it. radius in front. Switch to that. So that's what I just did. Body, head, body, then tail. Nope, that's that. Okay. Alright guys, let's take another quick cozy break. Be back in about 90 seconds. No worries. Alright. The solution is tail, body, head. So that's not correct. So we need tail. So we need red, white, black. That is the solution. So red, white, black. So if I put you here. Okay. Red, white, black. Okay. Hey, Ron. Let's give a nice uh, shout out to our friend Ron. Hello. How are you, friend? Still grinding on that Star Trek Online. Yeah! <laughs> Good to see you. So that supposedly is the solution. Oh, can't go there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Play solved it at it. Kaboom. All this for a little baby dragon, y'all. Alright, yellow dragon complete. One more to go. The other one's kinda cute. Little treasure chest that moved the platform around. I like it. Oh, let's tap the save. Thank you. Make sure I forgot to set my remind off for some more ad breaks later. Okay. So that is the shortcut. That's where you want to go. Okay. Oh, I suppose I should check these doors, huh? Actually, there's nothing cool in them. Iceberg. I'm assuming that is a blue. Don't think I have blue. It is. Sweet. Some powerful skills we're getting in this dungeon. Elements, I mean. It's pretty neat. Okay, put you to the middle. Have you 
come back over here. Check this room. Oh, that's a fight. Okay, just like in the other world. We don't want to fight you. We're gonna run. Excuse us. Didn't mean to intrude, buddy. Bye! <laughs> okay. So we're gonna move this down, down. And then we're gonna move this oh, to here. That should unlock the room. Thankfully, there's no boss fights, and there's the blue dragon. And our shortcut. Alright, I think we can now try and go get our friend Draggy. Another cheeky party member. Let's do a quick save. Open the door. And turn off the white dragon. The elevator. Go down. All right. Operating, we're gonna put in our big egg. And lo and behold, Draggy is born! Yay! <laughs> Alright, why did I sleep? Good morning! Huh? Where'd everybody go? My big brother! My big sister! My kid brother and my little sister. Where did they go? Are you my mother? Really? You look more like a father to me. Will you take me to mother and father? Sure. Draggy joined your party. He's a cutie. Red and eight. Okay. Where is everybody? They must be around somewhere. Arr, arr. Where are you? I know. They're probably left the fort and are playing outside. Whoop. Okay. Out he goes. Bye, Mr. Dragon. <laughs> so let's take a look at Draggy's moves. Draggy has some red skills. He's got Cough Drop. Coughs up a little breath of fire. Cute. Wholesome. We love it. And a Cough Mix. Cough up Fireball and then beat your wings to magnify it. Very cute. What a fun character. Okay. Alright. I'm not going to go through the rest of this dungeon, because I don't need to. That was our goal. Got Draggy. Hope you're having fun. I am having fun. Thank you, Ron. I love this game. I'm having a great time. We made a lot of progress on building a party. Pretty proud. Where we gotten so far? All right, I think 
that was all the characters we can get for now. So I guess we're gonna... Oh no, I think we can get Sparky. The alien. Let's go get him. I wonder what this island's about. There's the Herbert Hideaway. Don't think there's anything. I wonder what Hermit's Hideaway has here in this world. Anything cool? Oh, Draggy's here. So he's just hanging out here? Alright. Oh, is this turn up? Possible for a human to pull out. Okay. I wonder what can. <laughs> oh, Razzly's hanging out here too. Hey, girl. How are you doing after your trauma? She seems to be okay. Got a resistance ring. Decreases the time that status effects last. Oh, that's a cool ring. So this is just kind of like the, the hangout for some of your characters, it looks like. It's kind of cool. An energizer suit. Ooh, what's that do? Automatically recovers your HP. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Hey, Pharrell. Welcome in, friend. How are you? Let's give another shout out to our friend Pharrell. Pharrell has been uh, introduced to me because he's playing Chrono Cross as well. Let's give a nice shout out for Pharrell. Y'all, if you enjoy the cozy vibes here, feel free. Oop, that's not the right thing. Hold on. That's an announcement. <laughs> shout out. There you go, friend. There's a shout out for you. Uh, good you're hanging out with family. Well, I hope everybody's staying safe. I know it's getting wet, and then soon it will probably be turned to ice. So be careful. Hope everybody is staying put. <laughs> We're not traveling far. So I guess we can't get Turnip yet. He's there. I see him. But I cannot pull him out. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that out later then. Turnip needs Doggo. Okay. Potial. I don't have Potial right now. But we got Draggy. Got a bunch of characters. I think we're gonna get Starkey next. This is Starkey's area. Is that little triangle? This is where Lee or I think Leah is. So let's go after Starkey. Go in. Why not? Ooh, be under the sea. How cozy. I love how we're just walking underwater. There's no explanation how we got to the bottom of the ocean. And uh, we don't seem to have any issues with breathing down here. <laughs> it's just like, you, you're gonna go underwater now. Hold on. <laughs> Get those fishies. Alright, we're gonna use our moonbeams. Oh, it'll be explained. Gotcha. We'll say for now, I was just like, alright, well, we can now breathe underwater. That's cool. Alright, links. 
Let's have you get your feral cats out. <laughs> I love that. We're just gonna have feral cats. That that means like Lynx canonically just has little friendly cozy kitty cats that just bother him all the time. It reminds me of um uh, in Fruits Basket. <laughs> when they uh, have all the little animals of their sign just like showing up out of nowhere. <laughs> Very cozy. Uh, the Oprah attack. The oh, you get a cat, you get a cat, you get a cat. Is that what you mean, Pharrell? <laughs> Everybody gets a cat. Looking for some cozy treasure under here. Looks like there's a treasure right there. Oh, guess we fighting. Under the sea. She's trying like rocks, it looks like. Ow, 141? That was painful. Kitchen moonbeams, girl. Nothing beats the power of moonbeams. Up a gravity blow. Bam. Naughty fishy. We're gonna just be fighting fish. Water should be good, yes. We're gonna have a frenzy anyway, that just triggers attacks. Ooh. Good thing I'm good at battling. We get lots of skills. They're all just like clustering around this chest. We found a star fragment. All right. <laughs> That's how Harley always gets picked first. Hey, Sky, just lurking. Good to see you, Sky. Y'all, Sky is probably the mo one of the, not the most, but one of the most cozy streamers here on Twitch. If you enjoy the cozy vibes, you should give Sky a follow. Bam. Whee! That's a cute picture, Sky. I love it. Thanks, we need to get your Oprah attack, as Pharrell said. Everybody gets a cat. Can't live, laugh, laugh in these conditions. Oh, I didn't get it. Well, we're glide hooking. A 
magma burst. Makes too much sense. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice little blast. Okay. And I don't think we went down here. I wonder if there's any chests or anything over here. These little fish are kind of cute. Ooh, there is a chest. Some mithril. Nice. Cozy little friend just coming up to say hello. Hello. Alright, Harley, let's get our moon games out, shall we? Ooh. He's a meanie. Have you use your cure plus on Harley? There we go. And we'll see if we can get links to get his kitty cats. Minimal gameplay! Hi friend, I hope your stream is going well and you're crossing all the Kronos. We are crossing our Kronos up in here. All the cool people are coming to visit tonight. Let's give another shout out for Minimal Gameplay. A fabulous, cozy, chaos individual. <laughs> Very community-based and chatty. If you uh, like cozy chaos, you would like hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> what a brat. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. They have two cute kitties that they uh, feed with delicious green beans. I did not know kitty cats love green beans. I have not tried it yet on my Eevee. I will have to. Yay, we got the Oprah skill. Look at the kitties. We got them. Oh, those are some strong kitty cats. They are so tough. Yay! Da -da -da -da. Okay, everybody's healed up. We got some skills. You need to try, please. I want video. <laughs> Dare I say I need video? <laughs> Okay, I will. Uh, I will get working on that. <laughs> Whoosh. Well, we got the star fragment. Guess we'll save. Do -do. So we've been to the Water Dragon Island because that's where Rasley's family was massacred, right? I think we've been here. Yeah. It was very sad. Ooh! All right, requesting our daily affirmation of the day. Each and every day, I am getting closer to achieving my goals. I love that one. That's a really great one. Y'all, definitely be thinking that when you're feeling stressed, when you're feeling stuck, when you're feeling trapped, just remember that each day you are getting closer to achieving those goals. Except for Al, who got zero cops. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's give you a calm friend. There you go. There's a calm for you. <laughs> I 
I gotta change the cooldown. I think that command's cooldown isn't letting people do it in a row. Yeah, so I will have to make sure I give you some comms, Maddie. Let me give myself a note so I don't forget. Uh, remind me. Some comms. I love that because it says closer. It doesn't have to be there. You don't need to be taking huge steps. Just closer to it. I like it. Absolutely. Yeah, progress is not something you need to measure by pass or fail. Progress is something you can just kind of measure a little bit at a time as you're working towards something. That's a great affirmation. So we've got more exploration here. Anything fancy? No? That's quicksand. Step in it, you'll never see the light of day again. Okay. Not gonna do that. We've searched every square inch. Uh, now you can get your funny alien friend. Oh, that's right. I've got to go, I think, to the Sky Island to get my funny alien friend. Although, I gotta say, the uh, turnip or the mushroom guy was the silliest so far. Baby steps is still movement? For sure, Maddie. I don't know if I want to go down there. Did I save before I came here? I don't think I did. Let's save. Actually, I want to actually check out Goldo. I haven't been to this world's Goldo yet, I don't think. Let's see if it's any different. Oh, there's Doc. Who were we not able to save? Only allow family members? Greater family is already... Afraid her family has already passed away? What? That's sad. This guy just wants to trade elements, right? Oh, he's a blacksmith. That's cool. Could be this world's kid. Yeah, that's true. It's beneficial. That's the person. She'll trade elements for these things. That's cool. my little alert looks like we are about due to take another quick ad break so as always uh you know ads are what appeases the twitch, twitch gods we don't like them i don't like them but it is a free way to support the stream so if you all could stick out for the next 90 seconds we're gonna take a quick ad break and after that i'll be back very shortly so please use this time to practice some self-care i'm gonna go stretch my legs um if you uh, have to top up your beverage, feel free to go do that. And if you're feeling a little hungry, maybe a little snack. We'll be back really soon for some more Chrono Cross. All right, I am back. Let me know what kind of ads you got, friends. Hopefully they were interesting, collaborative kinds of things. Not just a bunch of Papa John's ads. <laughs> Did I miss the furries? Hey, Saf, no, we've got two furries right here. We've got Harley and we've got Lynx right here. <laughs> yeah. And then there's also, I don't know if you'd qualify them as furries, but we've got Norris. He's a regular cis white dude who definitely probably likes to be pecked, I would guess. And then we got Zappa, who is our blacksmith. 
radius. It's just kind of your old dude. We got a little dragon. We got Draggy, who's super cute. And then there's Sprig, who transforms into monsters. Lots of cosplay options. Then there's Fun Guy, who's ultra sus. Can't quite, quite tell. <laughs> He's ripped. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, we got Van, who's very sassy. I love him. And that's it so far. Yeah, we're getting all sorts of little furry friends. Uh, in the story, there's another furry that we can get, Janice, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. They have the dragon tier here. Oh, Orla. It's a mighty shop and a great place to kick back. Orla was, I think, in the kitchen in our, the other world in the Viper Manor. A lot more humans here than furry people. Ah, we back, yeah. You got a glass onion ad? What is a glass onion? Zappa totally cuddles? Oh, he sure does. I like Zappa, he's fun. You, oh, are you foreign born? We're not allowed to let foreigners in the tower leave at once. Okay, that's rude. Murder mystery movie? Are you watching the Clue movie? That movie is so good. I love that movie. This is the nurse. What kind of elements you got, girl? Ooh, all sorts of things I don't have. Alright, so... <laughs> Those are expensive. 500? Can't afford that. Purify. Restores all saddest effects. Ooh, I want a couple of those. Recover all. Squid Monarchy! Hello! little frog guy. I think he disappeared. Welcome in, Squid Monarchy. How was your stream? Did I give you a shout out earlier? Because I'm going to give you another one. <laughs> Squid, I heart you. Welcome on in, Raiders. Uh, Squid Monarchy is a, a good pal of mine and is working on their journey to become an affiliate here on Twitch. They're very cozy and chaotic and quirky. I love them. A uh, lot of Neverwinter Nights so far on stream, where the priority has been having no pants <laughs> on the main character's teeth, which has been a lot of fun. Squid Raid! Yay! So if, uh, if you would like to support a new streamer who is into uh, role-playing games, Squid Monarchy is the bomb diggity. Uh, Mirig, uh, tis the king of cozy. Hello, friend. Hello again, Mirig. We keep bumping into each other today. That's fun. Uh, Squid Monarchy, you did, but I always appreciate a shout out. Absolutely. Now I'm just thinking about how squids would fare in a monarchy. Ooh mystery uh raiders if you do not know me welcome on in i am a factor of change my pronouns are he they uh i'm into role-playing games uh dungeons and dragons tabletop board games anything that's got a story is a little bit cozy i'm big into that stuff um lately i've been playing uh through every final fantasy we are up to number four the pixel remaster uh, tonight we are working on our th run play um, gameplay of Chrono Cross, trying to work through to get every single of the 45 characters. So we're going to have to play through it a few times to get that done. And I just started a uh, playthrough of another cozy game on my Wednesday streams where we're playing Spiritfarer, which is really lovely. But welcome on in, friends. Uh, if you've been hanging out with Squid Monarchy, I imagine you've been there for a little bit. Please stretch your legs, 
uh, go get something to uh, drink, take care of yourselves. If you need to raid and run, totally understand it. But if you're going to settle in, please join us and get your beverage and we'll just continue to hang. All right. Let me catch up on chat here. Also Squid Ray. <laughs> uh maddie says i followed gotta keep tabs on the monarchy and how the squids do absolutely i agree uh welcome minimal gameplay give the <laughs> gem democracy <laughs> has the juice uh the candidates are me and me with a mustache spectacular oh yeah i keep wanting to play that how are we liking it I just started it yesterday and I lost complete track of time. So worth it, worth it. I love it. It's very cozy. It's a story about grief. Um, so there are definitely some heavier elements and themes, but I know Maddie, you were playing like Detroit being human, which seemed much more in your face about some of those themes. Um, but it's a really beautiful story, great scenery, music, love it highly recommend it uh if you want to check it out my vod is on twitch haven't uploaded it yet to youtube but it is there you're welcome to go check that out um emmy thank you for uh playing corn let's check our corn levels friends where are we at how are we vibing nine percent harmonizing with that corn i am not corny today <laughs> Uh, can I vote for the one with a mustache? Yes, Pharrell. Yes. All right. Good, good. Absolutely vote for me with a mustache. Uh, Emmy's checking her corn levels. Ooh, Emmy, it did not go for you. It went for Pharrell. Pharrell got 38%. Merrick, 77% chaotic. <laughs> Detroit become human hurts. I literally had to talk to my therapist about it. It it looked like it was starting to get rough there. I am not surprised. I'm glad that uh, you were able to process though. Hyped for therapy. We love therapy here. Being a literal therapist on the stream here. <laughs> All about it. All about it. <laughs> Squid Monarchy, you're only 18% chaotic. That's unbelievable. Emmy's down to 35%. Also sus. 96% uh, Pharrell. Very good. Your chaos level is quite there. That's my cozy level today. I feel like 82% cozy. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, thank you for redeeming a hydrate. Y'all, let's all hydrate together. Self-care is important. I have my lovely, usual Wegmans bottled spring water because I'm a terrible human who pollutes the environment with plastic bottles. But, you know, it be what it be. <laughs> uh, therapy is hecka important. Yes, it is. Uh, Squid Monarchy, I spent my chaos in this dream. It'll regenerate. And you're going after Dark Meow, Emmy? Wow. Way to literally hurt a child. I'm going to call CPS on you. Ooh, 32% Maddie. That's that's a decent amount, I guess. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Squid Butterkey, 25%. Uh, who put group hydrate on a cooldown? That'd be me, Sav. You wanted me to drown in water. I don't want to drown, friend. <laughs> Should have targeted Sav. <laughs> Someone who doesn't want to drown their audience. Yeah, that's me. I don't want to drown. Y'all, I don't want to drown. That is Kroll Emmy. Ooh, 20% cozy? We could see that improve. We could see that improve. Uh, but I want you to drown. Care about my needs. Saf, I'm going to just have to practice good boundaries and recognize that, yes, your needs are important and valid, but so are my needs. And if sacrificing my needs to meet someone else's, that's that's not going to be a healthy experience. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> Saf literally is the reason that it can't be spammed. He spammed it once. I know. It freaked me out. I didn't know what to do with all those redeems. <laughs> all right. Now, all right. Emmy's coming after you, Saf, with a Tonberry. Shame. 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 Mm. 
like from Grinder? <laughs> a vector is leading by example. Do you like a vector? Oh, hello, Siric. Welcome in. First time chat from a raider. I love these little bubbles that we get now on Twitch. That's so cool. Hello, welcome in. I hope you had a wonderful time with Squid Monarchy. And I uh, am grateful that you're here hanging out with us. Welcome on in. Fan of the squid. Me too. Big fan of the squid. Uh, Emmy's doing her little kitty pats. Very cute, Emmy. Very cute. We love it. Squid is fun. Lots of fun. Look at you, Emmy. You're stealing comms. Saf, you got shanked, friend. Sorry to say. Emmy uh, came in for violence. <gasps> oh. I guess I have a bunch of those. I guess we'll buy one. 99. Temporarily keeps hit percent of music at 99. That doesn't look helpful. Detects your opponent's HP data. Uh, my cat is wobbly and on gabapentin. Oh no. <laughs> my partner had to take gabapentin uh, a bit ago for some nerve stuff for his back pain. It was not a healthy experience for him. It is not for everybody. <laughs> I've had some clients though I've worked with who have been prescribed gabapentin for anxiety management, especially if folks have a history in recovery. It doesn't have that um, the same impact that a typical benzodiazepine would have, the usual medications for anxiety. So gabapentin is often used off-label as a prescription to help manage that, which is kind of cool. Uh, right, single enemy detects your opponent's data. I don't think I want that. No nulls bows physical attacks. Magic attacks, interesting. Genius, imbecile, strong-minded, weak-minded, magnify, diminish. I think Pharrell said we should probably buy a Diminish. I'll buy one. Stops everyone's elements. Ooh, or that shifts your status effects onto an enemy. That's funny. <laughs> oh no, Saf, you like getting attacked by Tonberries, huh? <laughs> That's awful. Awful. All right, well, at least we got some little shoppy poos. Yeah, I've heard about a star fragment. It's actually, oh, here's the explanation. If you go a little underwater, there's a layer of air and you can walk around just like on land. You'll be surprised. So I guess that's the, the clue to go there. Yeah, we got a new border squid. We did. Uh, get him. Cuts element damage, so you have an easier time with bosses. Should I get more than one, do you think? I bought one. Do you have to be black in it? Let me go look at the shop again. Bye. No, you don't have to be black. Okay. We'll buy one for everybody. Just one works? Oh well. Well, I spent the money. Hi, kitty. Oh, Maddie, I wanted to say um, another thing that I found just so precious about Spirit Fair, the game, is you have a little kitty cat companion throughout the game, and you can just, for any reason, just reach down and pet the kitty cat, or anytime you sit down somewhere, you pet your kitty. It's heckin' adorable. I was loving it so much. So I think I picked up a couple new elements, so let's put them on. Let's see what we bought. Recover all, I think everybody's got one of those, right? Yes. Purify. Let's replace that. And diminish, we'll put there. Okay. Do we have a recover on you? I do not. So we're going to put that here. Give you a diminish. Put 
And I assume you have a recover all on. So let's give you a purify. Aeroplast up there. Let's leave there. And I didn't think I put one on Harley. Put it there. Yeah, I think I need to add some random tables to change the reason why you're losing or gaining comms. Like how implies that Emmy would ever successfully cast rays without dying. Oh no. <laughs> Zap. The salt, my friend. The salt in this stream. If we were slugs, we would be dead. <laughs> Squid Monarchy! Aw, oh, thank you for the subscription to the, the thing. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome in. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you subscribe to the channel, uh, you also will get access to my subscriber zone area in my Discord. So I now officially own all of the Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you for the follow, Dirk Loves Loot. Appreciate you. Welcome on in. Uh, if you are in the Discord um, and you link your accounts, your Twitch and your Discord accounts, you'll have access automatically to the sub-only zone. And in there, you can uh, create a character on D&D Beyond, put it in my community campaign, and you will have access to all of the uh, fifth edition current published content that is available to take a look at and browse through and play around with if you're curious about some of that stuff. So definitely make sure to utilize that perk if you were a subscriber, Squid Monarchy. Appreciate you, friend. Sending you love. Very much so. Sub hype. Yes. <laughs> What's on this note? Read it. If not in right now, if you need me for something, don't bother looking. Mel. Okay. She's just as sassy in this universe as she was in the other. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh, watcha, one of Quartz's friends. Drained, I don't recognize your faces. You don't remember all his friends who comes around here, but oh well. I just wonder about such stuff. It's a small house, but feel right at home. My son's upstairs. So Quartz is in this world, too. Saf, we commence the ceremonial new sub spankings. No! <laughs> no. Oh, Abby, so close. She got a 19. Very close. Don't you go walking into other people's homes with permission? Huh, sir? I don't know by that name. Never mind. So let's get out of here. Oh, I think there was a treasure in the other world. No spankings, only shankings. <laughs> right, as it goes after poor obsessive. There's a door here in the other world, right? Maybe? Maybe it was on the second floor. We'll check the second floor. I swear there was a door back there. Maybe not. Up top. <laughs> Obsessive left himself lurking. He did. Do you know what these wires are for? I'll teach you. All right, I'll pay the 5G. You can't defy gravity. Oh, he charges me twice. What a little jerk. How rude. How dare. All right, let's go get our little alien guy.
he should be up here. Holy cow, I noticed you're almost at 175. Yes! We are at 171 followers. We are working our way up there on the follow count. That's exciting. Hi, Evie. Oh, hello. Hi, kitty. Maddie wants to see you eat some green beans sometime. Do you want some green beans? <laughs> Hi, Evie. Hello. You're wet. Did you go back outside? It's so cold out there. Cat time. Yes, it is cat time. Evie is here. Being cuddly. Say hello, Evie. She's being super cuddly. She just went outside, even though it's cold and gross. I don't know why she does that. Hi. Never forget, I was your second watcher and your 27th follower. For geese, this is Evie. She's so sweet. She always is like, Picking one spot for a little while to hang out in. And then she'll not want to sit in that spot ever again for a long time. It's really interesting. You did forget to follow for the longest time, Saf. That is true. But yes, here is your cat taxes. They are being paid. I hope you enjoy the love of Kitty. Yes. Am I even following Emmy? I don't know, Saf, are you? You'll have to go over to her page and find out. Guess we can do a cheeky shout out. And uh, you'll find out because it'll show up right on the top of the screen. If you are or not. <laughs> uh, but yes, if y'all aren't following Emmy, Emmy is the chaos to my cozy. We are besties. Uh, definitely give her a follow. She was playing some PS2 uh, sampler games, all sorts of different titles. Um, big into the retro and the JRPG scene. We play Final Fantasy XIV together. Uh, do me a favor, please give Emmy a follow if you're not already. I heart her with so much. Okay, let's get back to our game. I think, yeah. There's the game. There's the game. Okay. Are you followed, Sal? You are? Okay. Cat tax is good. Oh, good. No, you. This little guy is so funny. You're from the forest of the shadows. He's chasing the butterfly. <laughs> He's going to try to eat it. How cute. All right, we're going to fight this big monster, Starkey. Curse, this could be the site of the ancient Dragonites. Dang you and your cooldowns. <laughs> what is that? There's a giant monster. Seems that the monster won't attack if you don't have a star fragment. I saw this little guy go right over here, but I guess we're going to open the chest and see what happens. Uh, well, Saf, I guess for now you can cause chaos. I haven't gated the commands yet. There's a few sound effects commands there that you can type in every 30 seconds, I believe, and they will play on the stream. The box is empty. Get me Star Fragment! It's so cute! <laughs> this little Star Blaster. Oh gosh, Starkey. What a cutie patootie. Oh, I did not give him that ability. Okay. Links, take it away. Did 
All right, we're gonna diminish. Make these elements a little softer. Let's try this out. Carly is missing like cray cray. All right, she's gonna use our moonbeams. Radiation. Radiation. Radi. Oh, radiation. Some weird skill name. Use your quick draw. Seventy-seven. Do a free fall. Oh, his innate is white. The alien has got a white innate. That's interesting. Still did 142 to damage. Pretty incredible. Alright, before we beat up Mega Starkey, it looks like it is time for us to take a quick ad break. So, friends, please, uh, watch the ads to support the stream it's just 90 seconds we'll be back very shortly to continue this battle use that as a moment to do some self-care and we'll be back very shortly all right i am back uh squid monarchy says oops i stepped away for a little snack you were playing soul caliber 3 i mean I think she was. She was playing all sorts of little games. I saw her playing a Dragon Ball Z game, a Yu-Gi-Oh game, all sorts of cute titles. I did not catch Soul Calibur though. Guess we'll do a little shieldy poo. Some moonshine. Get our shields up. <laughs> Good drink, moonshine. Oh no. <laughs> Definitely is popular in some circles. Ooh, a cheeky meteorite. Three damage. Yes! Thank you, Harley, for all of the buffs. That's so cool. Here, have the Oprah skill. <laughs> My feral cats. Meow. Here they come. You get a cat. You get a cat. And you get a cat. Everybody's gonna get a cat. For sure. <laughs> You love Lynx's stuff? Me too. I dig it. Uh, my sister came here. Haven't been able to stream. She arrived Monday from Germany. Ooh. That's quite a track, Germany. I hope you guys are having some, some good time together, Pharrell. Just make sure to uh, have lots of good breaks in, too. Even the most enjoying of times, sometimes it's good to have a little bit of a break just for ourselves. We make puns! It's always a good day. I love that for you. Puns are so fun. Have a magma burst. Pew, pew, pew. So many many years.
We ain't bothered. Let's use a tree of evil. I didn't realize Harley shield plus diminish was broken. <laughs> it sure is. I'm loving it. Harley's a really cool character. Recover all? That's rude. I don't like that. How dare you. You can't just heal yourself. That's my job. Nope, 31. Links, you were not doing too good on your hits, buddy. Is Pharrell's sister Fox? I don't think so. <laughs> Fox is a master at puns, but I do not think uh, that is the same same people. <laughs> All right, let's do. Oh, maybe a meteor shower. Um, now nah, let's do a cure. Heal all. We need some health. See, I can do that too. He's almost done. Ultra Nova. Ooh, it sucks us in like a gravitational star. Pretty. It hurt, but it didn't hurt that much. Because I can just heal. <laughs> All right, Harley, let's get a meteor shower in. We will fight you back with the same power. The power of space. Uh, Diminish is OP and puns are too good. Puns can't be too good, can they? Blaster. 55, still standing. Okay. Hey, Toasty. How's it going, buddy? We're fighting a giant rope uh, alien. Mega Starkey. There's a lot of HP. Radiation. One damage, four damage. <laughs> it's like nothing. Do you want electrical? All right, Mega Starkey defeated. The equivalent of 17 degrees in southeastern USA. It's getting awfully chilly down there, friend. We got negative magic, bunch of gold. So the real body of the monster was this small? Nah ha ha, nah ha ha, nah ha ha. Catch him. Oh no, oh no, I have to catch the little guy. Yes! 
Got you. I shocked. I got caught. You win. Who are you? I come from far away stars. But Starkey's ship fell from sky. Star fragment. Starkey's ship fragment. The ship turned into fragments after crash. So that's why you're collecting the fragments. If you're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Starkey will come with you. Yay! We got another friend. Starkey! He's so cute. <laughs> Let's see what his abilities are. Starkey has a pretty big grid. He has Starlight. Call on Starman Guardian to do special attack Mach 1. And Starburst to do Mach 2. Uh, does this game have so many characters because everyone on the dev team wanted their fetish represented? Possibly Saf. <laughs> There's a lot of options here. A lot of options. Uh, the equivalent of 17 degrees in southern USA. Hey, toasty. Wind chill is going to be minus 20 tomorrow. Saf says it's 44 where I live. Feels like zero. You you would have a hard time up here, Toasty. We get temperatures like that all the time. We're very cold. Uh, everyone. Oh, okay. I caught up. Good. Okay. So, we got yet another friend, Mr. Starkey. Starkey wants to go home, but we want him to stay with us as our friend. My Ohio blood still runs strong. I can walk home with a little issue down here. Oh, good. Yeah, we get lots of that weather up here. It's always cold. So we can't go there, right? That's the sea, the Dead Sea, or Sea of Eden. Dead Sea. No. Make sure to talk to the guy at the altar area for a frame. The altar area in Marbule? Or are you talking somewhere else? Uh, wait, people survive Ohio? Impossible. Fake. <laughs> Sky Island? Oh, okay. I didn't see a guy by a shrine. Let's go back. Okay. No. Ooh, we got our favorite Martian for Oh, it's got a little baby Starkey on it. We're switching. That's cute. Thanks, Pharrell, for pointing that out. I love it. Very cute. It is the best frame. I love it. Alright, so I think our next story point is to go out to Marbule? Or SS Zelbus, which is up there. So I think for now, I'm gonna head over to the beach here at Marbule. I think we're gonna save our game, and I'm probably gonna raid out because I'm raiding, or I'm raiding, I'm streaming again tomorrow morning uh, around 11 o'clock Eastern Standard. So I wanna make sure I get some good, cozy rest. So let's pop over to our just chatting screen here. Let me pause my game. Okay. All right, guys. So as always, I'm going to do a quick plug for my socials. 
They are right there. One of the cozy free ways to support the stream is just interact with a little bit more of my social media. If you want to follow me on any of those platforms like Twitter or YouTube or TikTok, that's all right there. Uh, you're also welcome to join our cozy, cozy uh, Frog Pond Discord community that's been growing. Um, and I think tonight I saw one of the cozy streamers I've met on. Let's see if he's on. I think that's where I'm going to take us. So Ian M. Scott is a member of the Treppies, which is a stream team uh, created by Eyes on B. There are a bunch of fabulous people. I know Red Mage Dove is a member of the Treppies. There's a bunch of great streamers that are there. Um, so Ian is playing his first playthrough of Crisis Core. He's never had a chance to play it before. He's super comfy, super cozy. I've enjoyed hanging out with him, so I think that's where we're going to go. So we'll do a quick overlay for Ian. You want to follow him and ahead of the braid, but that's where we're going to go. So let's get our raid message going. And our raid printed messages as well. So if you would like to participate in our raid, please feel free to copy that message there. Uh, the subscriber one is the one right below it. Thank you everybody for joining. Not only did we get raided, but we also got some subscriptions and new follows. We are so much closer to that goal of 175. I'm super excited for that. I, It would be pretty cool if we were to able to get to that ending level oops we want credit sorry there we go <laughs> of 200 by the end of 2022 no pressure but uh that would be pretty cool to get that far but thank you everyone for being here emmy squid monarchy toasty our subs and squid monarchy coming in with that cheeky raid i appreciate y'all i'll be back again like i said tomorrow with final fantasy 4 pixel remaster at 11 eastern so come on back for that, and uh, for now, just stay cozy. Bye, guys.